Hi, this is Furkan and you are listening to Informative Stall. In this video, we are going to discuss a type of SDLC model which is known as Agile model. This video is consist of three parts. In the first part of video, we are going to discuss actually what is Agile is. In the second part, we are going to discuss the Agile manifesto principles. In the third part of our video, we are going to discuss the basic difference between Agile and traditional SDLC models. So we are begin with what is Agile model. Agile SDLC model is combination of two models, iterative model and incremental process model. With focus on process adaptability, customer satisfaction and rapid delivery of working software product. Agile methods break the product into small incremental builds. These builds are provided in iterations. Each iteration typically lasts from about 1 to 3 weeks. Every iteration involves cross-functional team working simultaneously on various areas like planning, requirement analysis, design, coding, unit testing and acceptance testing. At the end of each iteration, a working product is displayed to the customer and important stakeholders. Agile model believes that every project needs to be planned differently and existing methods need to be changed to best suit the project requirements. In Agile, the tasks are divided to time boxes, small time frames to deliver a specific feature for release. Iteration approach is taken and working software build is delivered after each iteration. Each build in is incremental in terms of features. The final build holds all the features required by the customer. We are going to discuss the Agile Manifesto Principles. There are four Agile Manifesto Principles. Those are Individuals and Interactions, Working Software, Customer Collaboration, and Responding to Change. In Agile Development, Self-Organization and Motivations are important is our interactions like co-location and pair programming. In working software, demo working software is considered the best main use of com communication with the customers to understand their requirements instead of just depending on documentation. In customer collaboration, as the requirements cannot be gathered completely in the beginning of the project due to various factors. Continuous customer interaction is very important to get proper product requirements. In responding to change, agile development is focused on quick responses to change and continuous development. Now we are going to discuss the basic difference between Agile and traditional SDLC models. Agile is based on adoptive software development methods, whereas the traditional SDLC models like the waterfall model is based on predictive approach. Predictive terms in the traditional SDLC models usually work with detailed planning and have a complete forecast for the exact tasks and features to be delivered in the next few months or during the product life cycle. Agile uses an adoptive approach where there is no detailed planning and there is clarity on feature tasks, only in respect of which features needed to be delivered. And team adopts to the changing product requirements dynamically. Customer interaction is the backbone of the Agile methodology and open communication with minimum documentation are the typical features of Agile development environment. The Agile team work in close collaboration with e each other and are most often located in the same geographical location. 
The product is tested very frequently through the release of iterations, minimizing the risk of any major failures in the future. This is all from our Agile 